Hi, I'm Nico, and this will be a short vinyasa flow. I have tailored it to runners, but it's really just hamstrings, quads, and hips because I know those get tight on runners, And but it's for everyone. Let's start in a child's pose, and if you have a block, I always recommend bringing it into practice with you, but if not, no worries. We'll start at the back of our mat, knees wide. Press your hips to your heels as you reach the hands forward. Settling into the space, into this moment right here. We'll take three big breaths. So start by exhaling all of your air out. Big inhale through the nose to fill up. Big exhale out the mouth, let it go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Last one, inhale. Exhale, release. This time, inhale, find tabletop shoulders come on top of the wrists. If you want to find ujjayi breath, that might feel good in and out through the nose, soft constriction in the back of the throat. And we'll start to find some breath to movement, starting with some cat cows. We'll inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the chin. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine, tuck the chin towards the chest. One more, inhale, cow, drop the belly, lift up the heart. Exhale, round, pull the belly button up towards the sky. Inhale, come to a neutral tabletop position. Ground down into your left knee and then reach the right leg back behind you. Really energize through the right toes. Lengthen through the spine and then as you exhale, right knee to nose, bring it in. Inhale, lengthen the right leg, kick it out. Gently drop the right toes down onto the ground so that you're on the ball of your right foot. Ground down into the hands, and then as you inhale, left leg goes high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to nose, bring it in, squeeze. And then drop it all the way down to the earth, the left shin drops. Inhale, right leg goes high. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, right leg straightens out. Exhale, drop the ball of the right foot down to the ground, straight right leg. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg goes up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Drop it all the way down to the ground. One more time, just like that. Inhale, right leg goes high. Exhale, knee to nose, bring it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop the right toes down, keep the right leg straight. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg goes high. Hold. Stack the left hip on top of the right, open it up, scorpion pose, maybe bend the left knee. Lizard lunge, bring the left knee forward. And then plant it outside of the left hand. Keep a really active lizard here, so keep the right leg straight. And then start to rock forward and back in and out of your left foot. Ground down into your left foot, bring your right foot up to meet it. Find Malasana frog squat, sit the hips low. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, forward fold, release, let it go. Spin the toes so that the feet are hip width distance apart. Shake out the knees, bring hands to opposite elbows, sway through the upper body. Release the hands back down underneath the shoulders. Inhale, find your halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, release, let it go. Inhale, upward salute, root to rise, reach tall with the hands. Exhale, cactus the arms, open up through the heart. Inhale, reach the hands tall. Exhale, dive over the hips, forward fold. Inhale, find a halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, find a runner's lunge, slide the left foot back. As you inhale, drop the left knee, look up through the heart space, lift the chin. 
And then as you exhale, pull the hips up and back, straighten through the legs as the heart space melts down towards the right thigh. Inhale, find a neutral runner's lunge, bend into the right knee, plant the hands. Bring your right foot back to meet the left. Inhale, charge the heels forward, knees up or knees down. We're lowering all the way down to the mat, hips and heart reach at the same time. Flip to the tops of your feet, inhale, cobra pose, lift. Exhale, release, let it go. Two more times with the breath. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, drop it down. Take your toes underneath your feet. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose, knees wide. Press the hips to heels. Big inhale through the nose to fill. Exhale out the mouth, let it go. One more time, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale, tabletop. Bring your shoulders on top of your wrists. Bring your knees to hip width distance apart. We'll inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, cat round the spine. Inhale to a neutral tabletop position, and then we'll walk forward just a little bit so that as you inhale, the left leg goes back. And then when we drop the left toes, eventually they'll be on the mat rather than on the ground. Really lengthen through the left foot, and then as you exhale, left knee to nose, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen the left leg up. Keep the left leg straight, and then drop the ball of the left foot down. Ground down into the hands and the left toes. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right leg goes up. Exhale, right knee to nose. Pull it in. Gently drop the right shin back down to the earth, right back to where it was. Two times with the breath. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring it in. Inhale, lengthen, straighten it out. Exhale, drop the ball at the foot. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right leg goes high. Exhale, knee to nose, bring it in, and drop it all the way down to the ground. Last time, inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend the left leg. Drop the left toes. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg goes high. Hold. Scorpion pose, stack the right hip on top of the left, bend the right knee, open up through the front of the right hip. Lizard lunge, bring the right foot forward outside of the right hand. Find some movement in and out of the right and left feet. Finding the feet and the ankles. Ground down into the hands, we'll find Malasana frog squat. Bring the left foot forward to meet the right so the hips low. This time finding that movement, but with the breath we'll inhale, lengthen the spine here. Exhale, forward fold, release, spin the toes. Two more times with the breath. Inhale, toes out, hips down, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, Malasana frog squat, so the hips low. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Bring the toes in so that feet are hip width distance apart. We'll inhale, find the halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, release, let it go. Inhale, upward salute, root to rise, reach tall with the hand. Exhale, cactus the arms, open up through the heart. Inhale, reach tall with the hands. Exhale, forward, fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, runner's lunge, bring your right foot to the back of the mat, hands frame the left foot. Inhale, drop the right knee, lift up through the heart, lift the chin. Exhale, straighten ish through the legs, let the heart space release on top of the left thigh. Inhale, runner's lunge, bend into the left knee, lengthen through the spine. Plant the hands. Bring your left foot back to meet the right option to just move into downward facing dog from here. Or we'll take a connecting vinyasa. Inhale, charge the heels forward. 
Exhale, come halfway down. Elbows just outside the rib cage. Inhale, flip to the tops of your feet. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips go up and back. Breathe. Bring your left foot slightly more towards centers. Next inhale, right leg goes high. And then as you exhale, right knee, right elbow, pull it in. Hold. And then swing it over towards the left elbow. And then extend the right foot out towards the left side of the mat. Outside edge of the right foot is down on the ground. And it might feel good here to hold and let that right IT band release. And for me, I have to really pull my right hip over towards the right. And maybe you play with dropping and lifting the hips up. Ball and star when you're ready. Left hand lifts up overhead, spin the left heel down, press the hips up towards the sky. Back to your three-legged dog, drop the left hand. Swing the right leg all the way up and back. Runner's lunge, bring the right foot inside of the right hand. Ground down into the right foot and then launch onto the right leg, finding grounded airplane. If you want to play with the balance, you can bring your hands to your heart. Exhale, Shiva squat, bend into the right knee, left knee to the back of the right calf. Two more times, breath to movement. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Shiva. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, grounded airplane. Moving into half moon, drop the right hand down to block your mat, lift the left hand up overhead. Slowly find warrior two, start to bend into the right knee, drop the left foot. Reverse your warrior, big inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, drop the right elbow to the right knee, left hand goes up overhead or reaches above the head. Two to three deep breaths here. Inhale, cartwheel the hands up overhead, find star pose. And then as you exhale, take your wide legged forward fold, spin the toes to face the side of the mat, let the heart space release down. Take an inhale, find your halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Keep your left hand where it is and reach your right hand up overhead. See if you can ground down into the feet. Keep the spine long. Let the right hand pull you all the way up. Right hand goes back behind you as the left hand goes forward. And then maybe you drop the right hand and lift the left hand up, taking a little back bend. And then we're going to take it all the way into a left side body stretch. Reach the left hand over towards the right. Right hand swoops down. Easy twist. Spin your toes to face the front of the mat. Left hand drops to the inside of the right foot. Right hand goes up overhead. Gently drop the left knee down to the earth. And let your right hand pull your shoulders on top of your hips. Low twisted crescent. Maybe you bring it all the way back. Right hand can drop to the back of the left leg as the left hand lifts up overhead. Cartwheel the hands down to frame the right foot. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. Bring the right foot back to meet the left. Option to press the hips up and back to downward facing dog or connecting vinyasa. Inhale, charge the heels forward. Exhale, come halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale through your nose to fill up. Big exhale out the mouth, let it go. Inhale, three legged dog, left leg goes high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. 
hold. Switch, bring your left knee over towards the right elbow. Extend the left leg outside edge of the left foot drops down. Option to stay here and play with stretching out through the IT band. Ball and star, when you're ready, spin the right heel down, right hand goes up overhead. Bending three like a dog when you're ready, plant the right hand. Left leg swoops all the way up and back. Runner's lunge, bring the left foot inside the left hand. Ground down into your left foot and then launch onto the left leg. Grounded airplane, maybe hands stay on the ground or blocks or hands at heart to play with the balance. Two times with the breath, we'll inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Shiva, bend into the left knee, bring your right knee to the back of your left calf. Inhale, lengthen, grounded airplane. Exhale, Shiva, squat. Inhale, lengthen. Slowly open it up to half moon, drop the left hand, right hand goes up. Stacking the right hip on top of the left. Warrior two, slowly bend into the left knee, drop the right foot to the back of the mat. Reverse your warrior, left hand goes up overhead. Exhale, extended sighting will drop the left elbow down to the left knee, right hand goes up or reaches overhead towards the front. Star pose. Hands reach up overhead. This time let's find goddess, so toes out, heels in. Bend the knees deep. Hands can come wherever feels good. Three times with the breath. We'll inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sit a little lower. Two more, inhale. Exhale, sit deeper. Last one, inhale. Exhale as low as you can go. Inhale, star pose, reach the hands up overhead. Spin the toes to face the side of the mat, and then exhale, wide leg forward fold. Let the heart space release. Take an inhale, find your half of lengthen. Keep your right hand where it is. Reach your left hand up overhead. Keep the spine long. Let your left hand pull you up. Left hand goes back as the right hand goes forward. Maybe you take it into a gentle back bend. Reach the right hand up overhead. Now we're going to take a big right side body stretch. So swoop the left hand. Reach it towards the right foot as the right hand reaches over towards the left. Easy twist. Spin towards the front of the room. Drop your right hand inside of the left foot. Left hand lifts up overhead. Gently drop your right knee down to the earth. Let your left hand pull you up. Shoulders come on top of the hips. Low crescent twist. Maybe you take it all the way into the back bend. Left hand drops, right hand goes up overhead. Cartwheel the hands down. Frame your left foot with your hands. Tuck your right toes underneath your right foot. High plank, slide the left foot back to meet the right. Inhale, charge the heels forward. Exhale, come halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big inhale through your nose, fill. Exhale, out the mouth, let it go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, find a forward fold, step, walk, hop, or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, half little lengthen. Exhale, release it. Bring your feet to hip width distance apart. Bend your knees deeply and release your hands at your lower back. And then maybe the hands can go up overhead, maybe forward. And then we're going to keep the right leg straight ish and bend deeply into the left knee. Let your left shoulder drop down towards the left knee. Really stretching through that right IT band.
So watch out, bring it up through center. Exhale, bend deeply into the right knee, let your right shoulder drop towards the right knee. Inhale, bring it up through center, bring the hands down to the lower back and then to underneath the shoulders, we'll inhale, find the halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, find runner's lunge, slide the left foot back. Drop the left knee all the way down, find half splits, pull the hips back, flex the right toes. And I like to press my right foot a few inches farther forward to keep it really long. And hands can come onto blocks or books or water bottles or stay on the ground. And if you want to get deeper into that right IT band, you can keep the right hand down, lift or keep the left hand down rather, and lift the right hand up overhead, big twist. If you brought the right hand up, let's bring it back down. Finding lizard lunge, we'll plant down into the right foot. Pull the hips forward and then walk this right foot out wide towards the edge of the mat. And you can bring your right hand inside of the right foot and you can stay here or drop down onto forearms. Or find quad stretch, keep the left hand where it is, bend the left knee and reach for the left foot with the right hand. And if this isn't quite accessible for you yet, you can bring something underneath the left hand to help you lift up a little higher before grabbing the foot. Really spring the left foot down, right hand comes inside of the right foot. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, plant down into the hands, and then we're going to bring the right leg all the way up and back to right three legged dog. And then bring your right toes to the back of your left heel. Really press your toes down into the heel to take a gentle calf stretch. And inhale, find your three legged dog, right leg goes high. Exhale to your pigeon pose, bring your right knee to your right wrist, right angle to the left wrist, really press that left knee back to lengthen through the front of the left leg, lift up through the heart space. And if this doesn't feel good, you could bring a block underneath the right hip, or find supine figure four, or sleep your pigeon if this feels nice. Hands can reach forward underneath the forehead. Imagine you could breathe really deep all the way down into your right hip. Gently start to walk the hands underneath the shoulders, press up, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, and then we're going to slide the right leg back to meet the left downward facing dog. Take a big inhale through the nose to fill, exhale the mouth, inhale look forward, exhale find your forward fold step walk, hop or flip to front of the mat. We'll inhale, find the half lift, lengthen. Exhale, let it go. This time we're going to bring the feet a little bit wider. Lift the toes, slide the hands, palms facing up underneath the feet. This should be a good gentle wrist stretch. And if you want more in the hamstrings, you can really pull the elbows wide, pulling the heart space towards the thighs. And we'll release, bend the knees deeply, lift the toes to slide the hands up. Take an inhale, find your halfway lift. And then we'll exhale, find your runner's lunge, slide your right foot back as your hands from your left foot. 
Drop the right knee down to the earth, find half splits, pull the hips back, flex the left toes. Again, I like to press this left foot forward a little bit more. And I didn't say this on the first side, but one of my favorite things about half splits is that you can play with the direction of your toes to make the stretch really different in different parts of the hamstrings. And you can even point the toes. It's good to keep the foot active, but if you want to point it, it might feel good, like a good stretch on the front of the leg here. If you want more of the IT band stretch, flex the toes, right hand stays down, left hand spins up. Finding a lizard lunge, we'll bring the left hand down. Point down into the left foot. Pull the hips forward and then walk the left foot wide. Left hand can come inside of the left foot. And then option to keep the hands up or drop down to forearms. Sometimes I like pressing to into the knee to really open up through that hip. Or a quad stretch, bend the right knee, reach for the right foot with the left hand back behind you. Release the left hand. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. We're gonna swing this left leg all the way back into our three-legged dog. So really plant down into the hands, left leg goes up. And then gently drop the left toes to the back of the right heel. Really press the right heel down to the ground to stretch through the right calf. Left leg goes high, three-legged dog. Pigeon pose, bring the left knee forward. Really press the right knee back to lengthen through the front of the right leg. Lift up through the heart. Maybe it feels good to sleep the pigeon walking yourself down towards the left knee. Gently start to walk the hands underneath the shoulders, pressing yourself up, tuck the right toes with the right knee, slide the left foot back, find your downward facing dog. And then last time, take a big inhale through the nose to fill. Exhale out the mouth, let it go. Inhale, look forward in between your hands. Exhale, step, walk your foot, find a forward fold at the front of the mat. Inhale, find your half wheel of lengthen. And then as you exhale, we'll bend the knees deeply, find a seat. Rolling all the way down onto the back. Setting up for bridge pose. We'll bring the feet underneath the knees, hip width distance apart. Reach your hands towards the heels and then press into the feet. Lift the hips up towards the sky. Squeeze under thighs in towards one another. We're here for three, two. One, lower the hips. Finding my favorite supine twist. We'll cross the left knee on top of the right. And then bring the hands out to a cactus or a T out from the shoulders. And then scoot the hips to the left and let the knees drop over towards the right. And if it doesn't feel good to have the legs crossed like this, you can uncross them. But for me, it continues to be a really good left hip stretch.
Move these up to center. Unravel the legs. Maybe find a gentle bridge pose again by lifting the hips up to release. And then we'll find the other side. Right knee crosses on top of the left. Scoot the hips to the right. And drop your knees to the left. Supine twist. Gently bring the knees up through center. Unravel the legs. Bring your knees into your heart space. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then release into Shavasana pose. Let the legs go long. Scoot the shoulders underneath the heart if that feels good. Taking one last big deep breath. Inhale through the nose. Fill up as much as you can. Hold at the top. Big open mouth, exhale, let it go. Release any hold you have on your breath. Try to let go of any tension you hold in the body. If you can pay attention to the entire breath as it goes in and out through the body with each cycle. If you have the gift of time today, I encourage you to stay here as long as you possibly want to or have the time to. If you're ready to move again, start by breathing deeply. Move your way into a full body stretch, reaching the hands overhead, feet go long in front of you. Bring the knees into the chest and find a seat, however feels comfortable for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave any comments or requests that you have, and I hope to see you back on here again soon. Namaste.